god, I left my camera in the car and it's all hazy now. It's adjusting from the heat. I just, it's literally 15 degrees outside and now it's uh, trying to heat up. I should probably wait until, I should probably wait until this thing heats up before I do anything. Anyways, I finally got a SATA cable. I went to Best Buy and got myself a, you know, generic SATA cable for the hard drive. So I'm gonna install that right now. Again, I'm vlogging really lightly because it is night right now and I'm, I'm trying not to disturb anyone else. To reiterate, this cough and cold that I've been having right now has been really affecting my sleep schedule lately. I've been taking really hardcore naps like during the evening and it's really hard for me to film when I'm just knocking the hell out in the middle of the evening. But as you can see here, I'm still trying to post something. So I'm gonna install this hard drive and then I'm gonna have a chat with you guys in the afterwards. Now, it's important to note that when you're doing this, I think you should really just unplug everything. I'm lazy, so I just unplugged the power. It's been a fat minute since I've seen the back of here. It's just, my computer's just been dormant against this wall. It's a little dusty. All right, so quick reminder on installing a hard drive and SSD, what have you, you're gonna need a SATA cable and you're gonna need something to run power to your hard drive or SSD or what have you. There will sometimes be a cable that has multiple power links on that cable so you can add multiple drives on one cord. If you don't, the cable should be with your power supply. I'm not really doing a tutorial, I'm just kind of reiterating just so I could show you. It has literally been a minute since I've touched this computer. Okay, that's that's in. Um, just 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 kind of in there. Um, don't judge me. All right, so now that the hard drive's in, I gotta turn on my PC. Now, if the drive doesn't show up, I'll have to create a partition for it and allocate that space on my computer. All right, so I'm back to working a full week again. Last week I had a few days off and then I had the weekend. It could be a challenge for me to create content again every single day, but I'm gonna try to get it out for you guys. So for the project on, so for the POV street photography video, I really am trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for that one. I think I'm gonna have my GoPro on my, on my body and then I'm gonna have one of my other cameras mounted on top. So I'm gonna have like three cameras showing three different views. I always think run, run and gun photography is my forte because trying to like trying to look around your surroundings and trying to find the art in your surroundings, I feel like is a really cool art form and it's something that I kind of want to do. But anyways, short video today. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Today was a bit of a struggle. As much as I like doing this challenge and as much as I want to push forward and do it, I gotta focus on my health a little bit. So, however, content will still be posted out. Hopefully it's been a bit of a struggle, but I have to remind myself that one of the reasons why I'm doing this is just to practice consistency. Learn my craft along the way, learn how to better edit, learn how to better create stories, learn how to better create, um, learn how to better find the conflicts of the day and turning that into a story. I guess the baseline for the vlogs that I'm trying to create is that when you're making a vlog every day, the main goal is to find that story in the everyday life even if you don't even if you're not even doing anything like as for me I'm doing I'm doing I'm balancing work and I'm balancing this so it's you got to find the challenges and turning that into a plot anyways that's it for me today I'll see you guys in the next one make sure to like comment and subscribe all the social media things and I'll see you guys in the next one hopefully <laughs> Ooh, no okay all right have a good one bye-bye
What the f dude? Some f hit us. What the f dude? Some f hit us. You can barely see it. I'm outside right now, but uh. We got side swiped, bro. Oh, there's a better view with the light. We got side swiped. Hello, everyone. Um, it's cold outside. I'm in a t shirt. My voice is still a little messed up. There's a loud ass airplane, but we're here. So, to preface this, this is not my car. This is my sister's car. But I was in it when we experienced a hit and run. We were going down the highway, a road that we usually take to get onto the interstate and stuff like that. And. We were at a slow down, it was a red light. We were, we were slowing down and then all of a sudden a car just comes from our left side and just grinds against us and just flies past us at like 70 miles an hour. Keep in mind you, this was at a red light so we were going like 20, 30 miles an hour if that and the guy just straight up hits us. Keeps going, cutting up traffic like a crazy ass day. We were supposed to go to a a uh, Japanese grocery store with a bunch of Japanese restaurants. I was craving it too, but instead I got poke, which is an okay trade-off, but a horrible, horrible event for the day. All right, boys, I'm kind of back. I, uh, my sleep schedule was all messed up lately. I've been going to sleep in the middle of the evening from like four to 10 and it wasn't ideal. Today I finally managed to not sleep during the evening um, and stay up until like four in the morning because that's what I've been usually doing. I'm probably gonna stay up a little late, but it is what it is. I'm already at a deficit in videos at the moment. I decided last minute to do these videos together, both day 18 and 19, because me not being able to get good enough sleep, I wasn't able to record good enough content. So. As a result, I'm putting these two videos together. It sucks, and hopefully I can make up for it. But, name of the game for this challenge is consistency. Yes, I'm wearing a tank top in the middle of winter. It's literally like 15 degrees outside. So this sickness has really put a hindrance on my schedule, and with that it affected my Vlogmas challenge. I'm still gonna keep posting every day, or at least do my best, or at least do my best with the schedule that I have and with the current shortcomings that I was uh, facing. Putting all of the vlogmas or anything that I had to decide, I had to focus on my health. In reality, it was pretty hard when I was going to sleep at a weird time and then having to see if I could come up with some type of video for that day. But now, uh, I was able to not fall back into that schedule and I'm back on, I'm back to somewhat a regular schedule. My sleep will be back to normal, hopefully. I'm trying to get that fixed, but it wasn't good for me or my health. And with that, it wasn't good for the challenge for me to continue with it or to do what I wanted to do with it. But we're back on track, baby. This video is gonna be a little bit weird. Again, two days in one video. Not ideal, but what I tried to put together just wasn't working. Moving on from something negative to something more positive. Since I gave one of my buddies my 50 millimeter lens, I needed a 50 millimeter lens. Now I was originally gonna get the proprietary lens mount lens for this camera. Because I'm using an EOS R, I was looking for a 50 millimeter lens that was an RF mount. But if I found something in the EF mount variety, I wouldn't pass it up. So I got an EF50 F1.4. This will do a lot better in light than an F1.8. At the time, it's a little expensive, and this one's a little old, but it does the job. Now here it is with the lens on. It's the EF50 F1.4. Like I said, it's a little bit older, so the autofocus motor is going to be a little bit loud. Maybe you could hear it. Maybe you can, maybe you can. I don't know. For me, it's a little loud, but I'm only really going to be using this for mostly portrait stuff or maybe some videos. Now, I will probably get a 35 f1.8 or just the RF50 1.8 altogether. I'll use these two consecutively together. I know it would probably be pretty stupid to have two 50mm lenses, but this one's pretty cool. A true enthusiast will love old lenses. 
I've been using this 17 to 40, and this this thing is ancient. A little bit all over the place for this vlog. I'm gonna keep this lens on and finish the video with this one. But we're back on it. With my energy kind of back, I can finally move on to the ideas that I wanted to do. I still kind of have to figure out ideas as I go, but I'm back on it. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Anyways, I thank you for coming to my channel. Even though the challenge is a little off and a little skewed, I'm still going to be participating in the challenge. Anyways, that's it for me today. I'm going to get some rest. At least I'm going to try to go back to uh, normalcy at this point. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I, appreciate you guys, I appreciate you guys for watching. This has been Landon. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the social media things. And I'll see you in the next one. In reality, I do have to edit this literally after this. But it'll take me a little bit. It'll be fine.